what has Rahul Gandhi ji gone to Manipur for? And I will make a statement in English on this. Two months have passed and Manipur is strife with violence. It is strife with the death of 130 people. People have been rendered homeless. They have been forced to live in relief camps. And that's exactly what, where Rahul Gandhi was going. He is going to Manipur to ensure that people of Manipur do not feel alienated. He is going to spread the message of love, healing, peace, harmony. What is the problem that the BJP has? Is it not true that the Prime Minister full of hatred is scared of love, peace and healing? Why has the Prime Minister not spoken a word on Manipur? He has not appealed once for peace. Amit Shah went there, did some tourism, came back and violence erupted more so after that. What are they scared about? Rahul Gandhi did a Bharat Jolo Yatra where he walked from Kanyakumari to Kashmir and he is absolutely committed to keeping this country united. And his visit to Manipur is a testament to the fact that a son of India is meeting his other brothers and sisters in Manipur and no power on earth, including the Modi government can stop him. Why is he being stopped? The administration gave him permission to go by road and suddenly they stopped him 20 kilometers later and said, no, you'll have to fly. Why are hurdles being created in this visit? What is he going to do? He is going to tell the people of Manipur that you are an intrinsic, integral part of this country. We stand with you in this hour of crisis and together we will tide over these troubled times. Something that the prime minister of this country should be doing. But instead, Rahul Gandhi ji is there He's amongst his people, and no power on earth can stop him from meeting them. What the BJP is doing is showing its true colors once again. Every time, and each time Rahul ji has wanted to go and stand by the people of this country, whether it was Hathras, whether it was Lakhimpur, wherever he's wanted to go, the BJP has created hurdles. But history is also testament to the fact that every time he has set out on a journey, he has reached his destination. He will again meet people of Manipur today. He will meet them because he's traveling with a message of peace. He's traveling with a message of healing. He's traveling with a message of harmony. He's traveling with a message of non-violence. And I think a message like that comes from the Congress party, comes from him, because we belong to a culture where we need to stand with our people who are battling with a crisis. We do not look the other way. We do not go and look at booth management. We do not go and make a trip to Bihar like Amit Shah. We do not go and peddle false lies in Rajasthan like J.P. Nadda. That is the difference between us and them.